I recently asked myself a question. In the Old Testament it says, a prostitute's descendants are cursed until the ninth generation. A prostitute is a woman who worships sex, pleasure, also for the money. Why until the ninth generation? I couldn't answer that question and forgot about it. And a week ago, I asked myself another question. If in my subconscious, my soul worships the instinct of self-preservation or the instinct of procreation, then how long do I need to feel that the main goal for my soul is to feel one with God? I thought, a year, two, maybe five. Do you know how long? Nine lives and nine generations. Because our previous reincarnations match our parents' karma. It means that if a person refused love, worshipped animal instincts and strengthened it by his behaviour and feeling, then on average you need nine generations for it to go away and to go back to God. If it doesn't come back with nine generations, then the family disappears from the face of the earth. And the descendants are cursed for nine generations. That is, they are followed by illnesses, misfortunes, broken families, etc. Current civilization can't survive with this mechanism. There isn't much time. But I noticed that time started to go faster. I saw that in my private sessions, when a person touches higher levels, then what he was doing for many years could happen in just a few minutes. That is, when godly love comes closer, all processes speed up, both good and bad. And then those who are doomed to die can get well, and vice versa, people with small problems start dying. We start depending less on our past and more on how we see the world today and what our aspirations are today. It's amazing, but I read pieces of the Old Testament that describe this process. Before, ancestors would eat sour grapes and their descendants would get sores in their mouths. But time will come and we will pay for what we've done. We'll heal the sores in our mouths. It's the speeding up time. It's happening now.